All right, so people ask me all the time about taking apart old shoes and reusing the parts. I really like to do this because this is something, um, it's quite nostalgic for me. It's something I used to do all the time. When I first moved to London, I had no access to any shoemaking supplies at all. Um, they're really hard to get a hold of. They still are quite hard to get a hold of, to be honest, but I would go to charity shops and buy shoes and I would take them apart and use the components um, and even shoes of my own that I didn't like anymore. Um, so I've got a pair of shoes here, which I wore to a wedding a couple of years ago and they're pretty trashed. They're from And Other Stories. Um, but you know, the heel is still in pretty good shape. Um, it's got a platform, which is so hard to find. So I'm going to take apart these shoes and just show you my process. Really. I've got a selection of tools in front of me. I don't know if I'll use them all or not. I've got some pliers, a hammer, whatever these are called, um, and a craft knife and most importantly, my heat gun. So the heat really reactivates that glue and makes pulling everything apart much easier. Um, I'm also going to need some scissors because I'll probably cut these straps up as well. All right, so here goes. Uh, wow, this almost never happens when I'm pulling apart um, high street shoes. These heels have actually been put in um, using the same method that I would use, which is screws. So you can see there there's uh, one, two, three, four, five screws in there because it's quite a chunky heel. Um, usually you'll see like a big kind of staple clamp kind of thing and you'll need to heat uh, heat it up quite a lot to get it out and that's really really tricky. This shouldn't be too hard hopefully so I'll grab my screwdriver and we'll give that a go. What I've got now is the insole, the platform, the heel. I've got the sole there, but I'm not going to reuse that. That was a rubber sole, so it was super hard to get off. Um, and the straps actually came off intact, which is cool, because if you love the shape of whatever um, shoe you're taking apart, you can use these straps as templates or patterns to make new ones if you want to do that. Um, insole sock. Also, it came off in one piece. I wouldn't reuse it because it's pretty trashed, but again, I could use that to make a pattern um, or a template for another shoe. And I've saved all the screws there. Usually when you take apart shoes that have like that big staple in the middle, you'll totally destroy the insole just in getting that apart um, and it doesn't have screws. So usually these are the two bits that I'm trying to save. The other thing I'll do sometimes, like this is a size four shoe, but if I wanted to make a size five, this is UK sizes, um, I could get rid of this insole, get a new insole and cut it to size and sort of, instead of it being that long, it could be a bit longer. So you can play around with it, but I can now use these components to make a new shoe. 